Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue, particularly on a Lenovo device, where it says that there's an unidentified device on your device manager list, and you cannot find or install the device driver because the name does not appear. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one. And in the description of the video, I'm going to have a link to a support Lenovo page that I've already located. And I'm not going to make you guys search for it. So I'm just going to have it in the description of the video directly from Lenovo here. And just give it a moment to load up. And this is their power management driver, so just give it a moment. And you want to go select the first one on this page here. And it should be a little download button next to it. So go ahead and select that. You want to grab the most up-to-date one. Please keep in mind, I just downloaded the Times 86 version, which is for 32-bit computers. Most of you guys are going to be downloading the 64-bit downloads. Again, the Times 64 is what most of you guys are going to be using. I'm using this 86 one because I'm on a 32-bit computer here. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and open up that executable file once it's done downloading. And select Run. We're going to close out of any web browser too. You can see it's a verified publisher as well, so go select yes. It's going to say welcome to Lenovo Power Management Driver Setup Wizard. Select next, accept the agreement, select next again, and select install. And select install Lenovo Power Management Driver now, select finish. And go through next again. And it should say ready to use, select finish. So at this point now, if you were to go back in the device manager and attempt to update or you were having an issue with an unknown driver, you should now appear. So you may need to restart your computer, just want to put that out there. So if you don't see it, restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.